saw Daisy uh, from Vinny. Yes, Vinny's been piloting Daisy, and while that's been a bit of a more surprise pick to uh, our typical audience and to people who have not been in the know. Um, however, Player 4 is a player who is most well known for his Peach in Smash 4. Um, He's been surprising people with the fact that he's using Daisy over Peach, but he feels that she's just better. I haven't really gotten an answer out of him as to why, but he's been doing a fine job of proving his worth with the character. Yeah, I would say uh, his results as of now, at the very least, prove that Daisy's not bad. Um, you see, in general, uh, Daisy's been getting a lot. Uh, Daisy and Peach have been getting a lot of hype from the community. Um, people just think that the mechanics in general uh, suit the character, plus uh, a few of her tools I think are just better. Down tilt um, sets up a little better because you can't tech anymore. Right. Um, drag down up air, as we said earlier, is a really volatile tool. And then turn ups pull faster and throw faster and do more damage. And so that on its own is enough to make the character pretty scary. Uh, more than she was already, thanks to characters like players like Samsara and Mechie. Uh, even Slayers. And right now, uh, Player 4 is showing that he is another name to add to that list of scary Daisy players because, right, like, it, it's, it's pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, I know he's been heavy on the grind since the game released. And in this particular matchup, I, I can say from experience that Incineroar does not like turn ups of all tools. And that was just an unfortunate air dodge that's le leading us to game two. With that going in favor of Reggie. Now, as far as this matchup in particular goes, um, in fact, for what it seems for most of Incineroar, he's just going to get hit a lot. A whole lot. He's just going to keep on getting hit. But he'll eventually get in. When he does get in, it's big damage time. Incineroar is definitely a character that can put out a lot of damage really, really fast. Um, and I think that, in general, a lot of his tools are conducive to that. However, we are no longer looking at the Incineroar. Instead, at Cloud. This is a hell of a counter pick. Hello? Yeah. <laughs> Hello? All right. Um, I know from experience that uh, Reggie feels like he might need a counter pick for this character, or at the very least, spending more time to figure out how Daisy can fight off against Cloud. Uh, I believe this is actually the first time we're seeing Cloud on today's stream as well, so take a brief moment to uh, expound on what we have here. And Cloud's limit has a bit of a change to it in that once he gets it, he must use it within the first 15 seconds or else it dissipates. And Bravestar is forced to use it right away thanks to some edge guarding from player four. Yeah, I think that change in general um, is one that essentially everybody except for Cloud players um, we're a big fan of. Wow, that actually was an incredible recovery for Brave Star. Um, the way he aired up here was great, but player four, uh, cleaning up the edge guard anyways. In general, however, despite the nerfs to Cloud, and he did receive a good handful of nerfs, I actually feel like Cloud benefits very well from the movement system changes. And in general, I think he's going to be a strong character if he gets the right amount of representation and study. Yeah, Cloud absolutely is a character that benefits from everything that these mechanics have to do. Tilting out of sh uh, tilting out of run, jeez Louise, you're telling me you can forward tilt to kill out of run, up tilt to combo out of run, even down tilt to an extent out of run isn't an awful option because it just kind of speeds up the movement a little bit. Um, those in general are really, really strong. And the fact that landing is so much more difficult makes Cloud's incredible up air even better. And on top of that, as we've already seen in this match, air dodging um, directionally can help assist with recovery without having to exhaust your limit. So Brave Star, if he's getting sent off stage, doesn't need to really use limit for the sake of coming back. There's just a lot of options that are available to Cloud. Brave Star's recoveries right now have been really, really good. The issue is really that he just hasn't been able to pick up some big kills just like that, or he hasn't been able to pick up some big combos. It seems like uh, Player 4 is getting so much off of every single hit versus Brave Star, who's maybe getting a cross slash here and there. Yeah, Player 4 just has a deeply ingrained in his style of play. Like, he cannot take Cloud series, um, dangerously, rather. He needs to keep on fighting away, keep on getting as many uh, hits as he can off of one combo, and then retreat. Because Cloud gets in a couple of good hits, all of a sudden you're off stage, you're taking more damage, the match turns itself around. 
it's just not a fun hunt. Yeah. And Bravestar's movement is actually really good. Um, you see he just canceled that uh that run into jab. I was talking about tilt only, but run into jab, another incredible option of Cloud. His jab is um, a good move in covering the areas he can't normally get. Oh, oh I didn't get it in time. Yeah. Okay. And look at that, he had a stitch face. Yeah, that was really grim. But good job to Brave Star for at least trying to keep up. Player 4 going to be moving onwards. And who is Player 4? He's going to go on to fight Ippo, so Reggie's got the cloud bracket. That's not fun for Reggie. Yeah, that's, that's actually unfortunate. Oh.